in, in Toucan, we're going to be looking at, at both one and two can system dynamics. And um, in, in, in the uh, final problem, uh, you're going to be cascading these cans, if you like, one on top of the other, so that it empties, the top one empties into the bottom one. And uh, you've, you've got some insight into what's going to happen. It's, it's not difficult to see that if, if, say, I started this can off uh, with some volume, bottom can full, I mean, sorry, empty. Y you can see that the trends should should uh, follow the ones I've sketched here. You know, the vo the initial volume of can one would start off at some value, and it would it would just empty on its own, and some time to empty for the first can would be here. But as 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 can one is emptying, the the bottom can is filling, and then it empties eventually, right? Um, some of the things that we might want to do is is uh, uh, predict uh, certain you know, times to empty, certain peak levels. And then, for example, um, well, what's the peak level of the bottom can? The other thing that we might want to do in one of the experiments you'll run is, is you know, what if I know this uh, maximum value of this bottom can? You know, how, how can I predict uh, accurately uh, what those values would be? And, and can I predict also what the initial volume would be you know, in this, in this top can so that I could exactly fill this bottom can? And that's the challenge that, that we'll give you in the lab. You understand how the system works. The, the, the point is to build a model that, that can actually make these uh, 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 predictions for you. Okay. Uh, so, you know, the, the, your overall objectives, we want to continue building skill in physical system modeling and, and experimentation. Uh, especially want to give you some, some more practice in designing experiments here you know, based on a model, and then also design, you know, experiments that you can use to parameterize the, the model itself. And then we'll also practice verification and validation of those models uh, in, in this lab. And uh, we're going to do this all in one week, so it takes a little bit of pre-lab preparation, which uh, I'll discuss in, in a separate video. Um, uh, some specific things for the two-can system is uh, we may ask you to you know, use the model to predict um, some initial volume of water in the top can that that will result in some level of, of water being achieved in the bottom can. Sometimes we do uh, a specific level. The more interesting and more dramatic experiment, uh, which really allows you to validate your model because you can test right away if, if your model is accurate, is find that initial volume so that you can exactly maximize the bottom can and also without spilling. Right? We consider that a failure uh, in a sense because you know, that would be more catastrophic than if you underfilled. Um, and uh, we give you the challenge sometimes of giving you only one opportunity to do this and then take points off, uh, say, in, the ch in, in, in lab if, if, if you aren't able to do this accurately. Don't do it. The other thing that we're going to do is uh, in the first in 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 the same week is is you're going to introduce uh, pressure sensing to actually at the same time that you're running experiments and 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 checking uh, the response of your uh, system actually have some sensors in there that will directly measure the uh, the level uh, or volume in the can and then you can actually look at the trends and see if you're also matching if they look if they look similar to what your simulations are predicting. Okay. Um, 
again, uh, just a couple of uh, slides here. These are problems that you've seen before, you know, maybe in basic physics, and you've done some analysis using Bernoulli's equation to figure out, say, what's the velocity of water. Again, this is not the kind of analysis we use in this class. You might have also seen it in a fluid mechanics class. Here, a little, getting a little bit closer to the kind of analysis I'm going to show you for your modeling. Uh, we're going to be using continuity equation, mass continuity, and coming up with an ODE uh, for uh, ODEs rather for describing the system, right? Instead of first order ODEs, uh, this is a second order system. So we'll be driving that model uh, in, uh, in, you know, in, in, the, in the following slides.